Hello everybody, welcome back. I just got back from Tennessee and Kentucky. You can't really see the shirt, but Kentucky, home of the Hatfield and McCoy feud. Um, we got a, a big uh, Funko Hall. Um, let me get these out of the way and I'll show you one by one. I'll show you some clips. Um, we don't have FYE here where I live. We don't have, um, what's that, Books a Million, um, Sam Goody. We don't have those. So I got a chance to step into those stores and pick up a few things while I was in Tennessee. So let me move this stuff out of the way and we will get started. First off, up in um, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, there's a store called Buckboard 2. Have a good day. a nostalgia sh store but they had tons tons of Funko Pops and so I picked up uh, a vaulted Duck Dodgers and then we went back up to Cooksville and I went into, where did I go first? I went to Sam Goody, which is FYE. FYE, basically. They they carry all the FYE stuff. So, I, there was something I was going to order online, and I never did get it ordered. And so, while I was there, I picked some up. But first, they had the King Deadpool FYE exclusive. Saved me some shipping. And then these two I was going to pick up about a couple months ago. But um, it's Wilma and Betty Flintstone. I'll move that out of the way. And so they were on sale. So I got them cheaper than if I would have ordered them, plus I didn't have to pay shipping. Let's see, the box is not sealed. I wanted to see what these two look like anyway. Okay, there's Wilma. Wilma! Here's Betty. Got so much here, I don't even have room. Here's Betty. Don't she look nice? Okay, so. And these were. Limited edition San Diego Comic Con. They, I don't know how limited they were, but they still had some left on sale. So, but still, they, I wanted them. They're pretty cool. Go in with my cartoon collection. Along with Duck Dodgers and that on another shelf. There we go with them. See if I can make some room here. Okay, then went to Books a Million, and I actually didn't find 
the, the Sam Goody, the FYE had more unique pops and exclusives than um, Books of Million did, uh, surprisingly. The Books of Million exclusives that they had, I already had or didn't want, so... Vinyls. Vinyl. That's an <laughs> interesting concept. <laughs> um, Ashton was going to donate one of those things, like 40 bucks a month, and they send you two or three different vinyls a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was thinking vinyls that you know, those signs that you put up on your walls and uh -huh. the words you know, put out yeah. vinyl. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Ladybug. From? Just a From an anime. Oh. <laughs> and so I'm like, are you going to pick the sayings or, or do they just send you whatever? And he said, no, you, you tell them what you like to, to listen to. What am I listening to? What are you talking about? <laughs> Vinyls. I thought that was funny. I said, yeah, we just call them albums. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see one more thing. It goes in the dark. Tracy wouldn't like that. I like clowns. Uh, George, a lot of people don't like clowns. Oh, that was Georgie. Yeah. Uh, Grease. Mm. I've never seen Walk. Well, I've seen Walking Dead, but we can't watch it because Tracy won't let oh. me. What about the walking? What about the Walking Dead, Tracy? How much you love them? Yeah. Weird Al Yankovic. I picked up Clark Kent, which I got from Amazon already, but. He was, when I got him out of the box, if you remember, there was a rip along the side. So this is one with a good box. And then, this was a, I thought it was a good, a good find. I got Link. Ultra detail figure. And he was on sale. I got them all taped up. I don't know if I can get them out. Let's see. Now they taped it all up. Yeah, I don't want to destroy the, the package. So, there we go. And there's the back. I don't know. I might... Get him out of here anyway. He looks pretty cool. He looks cool just standing on this shelf. I gotta think about that. Okay, so next, let's see. I should have another Target bag here. Where is it? Well, I'll save Target till the end.
So we get back. Let me move. We get back and I go to Target and I went first day back and then I went today and first day back I found this Five Nights at Freddy's um, exclusive and it's I got I actually got the chase figure of this one I'm not a big Five Nights at Freddy's guy, but how often do you find exclusives at Target? They're always sold out. So I got that. And then right around the corner, have you seen Bright on Netflix? Awesome movie. If you're into sci-fi, futuristic, it, it's set in the future a world with orcs and elves and humans and but it's in a city just like downtown LA but the population is orcs and humans and elves and there's the elves are the only ones that can do magic and it's called bright you got to check it out well found Leia Le Leolaya I cannot pronounce it properly awesome show and pretty cool find being the same day right two two exclusives um i was shocked you know the cupcake i could see there was a couple of them there they really weren't moving but then i saw this one Positive, but I think she's the one that finds the magic wand and is with Will Smith and whoever plays the orc. Awesome movie. Check it out. And I might as well show you this guy. Come out, don't, don't get stuck. And then Cupcake from, well, Nightmare Cupcake from Five Nights at Freddy's. And somewhere around here I have the Chase figure also, which I might have found at Target also. No, it doesn't have a Target exclusive sticker on it, though. Two exclusives in one day and then I go back today and I got Domino we just watched Deadpool last night Domino is an awesome character her superpower is luck and then I found Will the 8-bit um, Target exclusive. So I found three Target exclusives in three day, or two days. It was actually a couple more of Will. Um, so if someone can't find it, let me know. Maybe I can find one. But pretty good. Best I've ever done at Target. I, Target is terrible at my place. They never have any of the exclusives in stock. And then when they get them, they have like uh, 10 and they're gone within two hours. And so here's Will. Now they unload them in the morning and they're gone by 10 a.m.
I really wanted one of those 10 inch, any of the 10 inches that they've had out recently. But I don't know why the 10 inches are always exclusive to Target. Maybe because Target can turn them over so quick and easy. And she's a bobblehead. Her eye shading is a little different in the movie. I think it's lighter instead of blue. One of my favorite characters in that movie. Besides Deadpool, of course. So that was Target. I'm going to need to find more space in this place. Okay, so then I went to the thrift store down the street and uh, found Batman. Lego Batman. He's a working clock. A uh, Lego DC superhero. Get his head. And that snoozes him, I guess. So let's turn him off. Very cool. He moves his head turned out. I thought that was an awesome find. I think that's everything. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. What was your favorite of the um, pops? Do you have uh, books a million or FYE, FYE in your neighborhood? What about Target? I know in the U.S. there's targets all over, but I know up in Canada, targets are hard to um, to get from. So, once again, I'm wearing my uh, Kentucky uh, Hatfield McCoy shirt, Tennessee hat. Nods to you back home, back in Tennessee and Kentucky. Thank you for letting us visit. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. You have a wonderful day.